Today we're gonna talk about an amazing product that has been around for a few months now. K-Cycles is an awesome build that was highly optimized to work with Cycles render engine. This will allow you to render up to four times faster using Blender. Eric, the developer of K-Cycles, works in ArcVis, and he set out to find the fastest and easiest way to achieve realistic renders, so he came up with K-Cycles. It adds a lot of functionalities, such as an ultra denoiser and real-time viewport effects with easy access to controls and a nice interface. Not to mention the fast renders that can rival other powerful render engines in the market. The build is optimized for NVIDIA GPUs, so if you have a GTX 980 or higher, this is gonna be for you. Some of the major benefits of using K-Cycles are faster final renders and viewport rendering speed as well. This is arguably one of the best features when using K-Cycles, but there is more of course. We have an ultra denoiser with the latest Intel multipass denoiser technology for clean and sharp images with a fraction of the sample count. And what's even better, the denoiser is integrated into the render properties panel so you don't have to use the compositor anymore. This in addition to a lot of amazing animation ready viewport post effects such as bloom, flares, anamorphic and ghost effects, tone mapping and much more. All the effect settings can be keyframed and previewed in real time on the viewport. It is exactly as if you are using just another version of Blender with few different presets, tools and improvements. In the render properties window, you can see a new section called K-Cycles X. You can choose between different performance modes, default, medium, fast and manual, with the default being the highest quality with no presets. You can also choose between three different GPU boost profiles, max, high and none. When using max, more memory is used to achieve maximum GPU boost. And when using none, you'll be using the least amount of memory with no GPU boost, but it is gonna be still 10-15% to faster than Cycles X. If you need a more responsive viewport, tick the checkbox called Faster Viewport Updates and Navigation. Sometimes when you need to move objects or adjust various assets in your scenes, it is just great to use this option as it helps when it comes to speeding up the viewport. But if you are just adjusting materials, it is better to keep this off because you can get faster responsiveness and get the final render quickly. You also have a post effects section where you can find bloom, flares, tone mapping and lens effects. All the effects are compatible with the CPU, so you don't have to use the GPU as it used to be. And these effects work in the viewport in real time. Only the effect is applied after the sample render is finished computing. Tick each checkbox to activate the effect and you can find the controls under each section. The denoiser will help you achieve a better image quality with a lower sample count. It offers a couple of parameters that you can adjust. First, you have a multipass denoiser, and using this option will result in a much more high quality denoised image as it takes into account different passes that will be rendered very fast before the compositor. But you should only use this if you want a sharp looking image. The volumetric and transmission options can be used depending on your scenes. If you have volumetric lighting in your scene, choose volumetric. But if you have glass and transparency materials in your scene, choose transmission. Or you can use them both at the same time. Just know that sometimes in specific cases, rendering some of the passes might result in artifacts. Ticking the pre-filter guiding passes checkbox will fix the artifacts, but you might lose some details. Every time there is a new master build, Eric the developer will release a new version of K-Cycles, and when he does, it will be available to download immediately, so you can rest assured that you will be always on the cutting edge of this project's development. And now, let's take a look at some side-by-side -side results using the normal Blender Cycles and K-Cycles rendering the same scenes. K-Cycles is a great tool especially if you are rendering big scenes or doing animation projects. If you are an ArcVis interior designer, you owe it to yourself to try K-Cycles. It is faster than Cycles X and the normal Cycles. Most people use EV because it is faster and it has great real-time rendering capabilities. But K-Cycles will also save you a lot of time, especially when you are on a tight schedule. Also, the Ultra Denoiser option is super helpful as it helps you render at a lower sample count while retaining an amazing level of detail. Overall, we think that K-Cycles is a great value for its price. If you are interested in K-Cycles, you will find the necessary links in the description. 
I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can also share with us your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.